When we have a problem with the battery in the Samsung Sun phone, we usually first to think about replacing the battery. But this is often not the solution to solve the problem with the latest Samsung Galaxy smartphones. Samsung has in recent years equipped their phones with many additional background apps. The purpose of these apps is to monitor and collect statistics and other important data. These apps are hidden and impossible to disable with built-in app manager. So, if you have Samsung Android phone and want to extend the battery life, there is a definite solution here. Of course, there are a lot of applications in the world that promise that, but the final results are never like advertised. First time I met with the battery problem was when I updated the Android software on the Samsung Galaxy S2, and from then on it was only worse. First I thought that the problem was in the battery. So about the new one. After a few days, it was clear that the problem wasn't the battery, but something else. I tried to deactivate certain applications, turning off Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS, and with minimal brightness of the screen. All that did not help so much. So I reset the phone back to the factory settings, but the battery was still discharging too quickly. Then after long research, I came to the conclusion that the Firestarter was upgrade to the latest firmware week before. So I did not want to bother with that thing anymore. I sold the phone and continue life. After several years of using other phones, I bought the Galaxy S6 for an excellent price. And because I had bad experience with the firmware upgrade before, First thing I decided to deactivate updates. Firmware update. <laughs> but of course, even if this feature can be turned off, the update notification was still there. Again, after deep research, I realized that latest Android and Samsung deliberately disabled the option to hide firmware update, which was possible before. The only solution to the problem was that you just ignore the update notification at the top of the menu. So for almost 3 months I successfully avoided clicking on that, but one day when I took it out of my pocket I accidentally pressed on that band button. And the installation process of course has started. He tried to stop it but there was no more way back. I finally reset the phone back to the factory settings and that solved the problem for one week. I was thinking about need to reroute the phone and then I came across an interesting application, the BK package disabled for Samsung. This application enables you to control hidden system applications that Samsung has installed for purpose of keeping statistics and controlling updates and many other bizarre things. The only problem with the application was that it's not free app. After repeated attempts to install several free versions, I decided to pay and try it out. The first startup was simple. After reviewing the main menu, I found that it has two parts. The recommended list of bad applications called Broadware and System for demanding users who want to disable even more system apps but of their own risk. After reviewing the list I disabled the software update with great pleasure. I checked our application in the list and deactivate everything that I don't need. The BK app has also built-in function that tells you what role the application has before it's turned off. However, if you try to disable all apps, you can quickly crash the system. After a few days I noticed a sudden change in the battery chart. Suddenly it was no longer falling, but it was becoming more and more in a straight line. In the next few days I have disabled many other things. Although this battery on Samsung Galaxy S6 did not bother me, I want to disable only firmware updates. Because I knew it was small before. Small before I buy it. 
I was surprised that it become so much better going from one and half day for almost three days of use. That's almost 50% more battery power and standby mode and 30% when its screen turned on. I installed the Biki package disable because I wanted to stop that annoying firmware updates. And in the end, in the end I got free battery upgrade. The price of application is very affordable and I suggest it to all who wants to have better battery and want to disable firmware updates on Samsung Android phones. I hope that this app will be still available in the future for newer Samsung phones because Samsung is trying very hard to limit the power of Wiki Package Disabler. So hurry up!